Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges Notebook Review. I recently reviewed the Dell G315 gaming notebook. I originally ordered it with only a 1TB hybrid hard drive and quickly found it grossly lacking in performance. I immediately replaced it with an SSD and today, at the request of a viewer, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, before you even pick up your screwdriver, you'll need a copy of Dell's special version of Windows 10 to install, and an empty flash drive that's at least 8 gigs in size. So, with your Dell G3 notebook, navigate to dell.com, click Support, Support Library, Software Security and Antivirus, Backup Solutions, Backup Media and Recovery Options, and then click the link for the Dell OS Recovery Tool. Download, install, and run the OS recovery tool. In the app, select your computer as the device to recover. You should be able to see your Dell G3's service tag, and that a version of Windows 10 is available for download. It should then allow you to download Windows 10, which might take a while. After downloading, the app will make it easy to wipe, format, and install Windows 10 on your flash drive. Once that's done, it's time to get out your screwdriver. There are 10 screws on the bottom of the G315. These two unscrew, but don't come out. The other eight are removable. Yay, notebook guts! Remove the two screws that are holding the caddy in place, then carefully disconnect the SATA cable which is attached to the caddy via a mild adhesive. Take off the four screws attaching the caddy to the hard drive, insert your SSD into the caddy, and then reverse everything. When it's all put back together, insert your Windows 10 flash drive into the Dell G3, then power on. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows 10. After Windows 10 is installed and booted, it's not yet a done deal. You will have basic function support like most hotkeys and Wi-Fi internet, with which you should now navigate back to Dell.com and download the drivers for your notebook. When you input your service tag, you should be taken to the appropriate page automatically. The chipset drivers should be installed first, then all the Intel labeled drivers like rapid storage and whatnot. Follow that up with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers, then finally the audio and video drivers. Once those are done, you can go ahead and use and customize your Dell G315 to your heart's content. This has been a tutorial on how to upgrade the 2.5 inch hard drive on your Dell G3 here on Thieges Notebook Review. Thanks for watching and you guys, have a good night. <laughs>